Gang, welcome to another comic book reading. We're doing a live stream on Twitch, and we got a couple of books, two or three books, uh, picked out to read segments for. One of them is this book right here, Two Fisted Tales, number 40, from 1955, EC Comics. This comic book is... Um, one of the comics that we picked up in a recent haul comic book haul we bought about uh, i don't know probably around 55 comic books in the last couple of weeks so i took out three of them that uh, we can have a read through okay so when i got this book i actually didn't know uh, this had a little short segment uh, of last of the week and so, so when i picked it up i flipped through it and when i saw last of the week and so i was ecstatic about it and definitely knew that we we're going to do a comic book reading for this okay as far as the grade for this comic book goes uh this is graded at good very good which is 3.0 so it's a low grade okay it's from 1955 and it's got all the grades from ec comics some of the most of the grades from ec comics there's a lot of great artists and writers uh from ec comics uh that you know define the comic book industry really in this one we got uh, george evans john potman john severn uh jack davis okay and Ma mary severin and th 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 there's a whole bunch of people that are that did work for this okay so let's crack this open and just flip through it and what we'll do I'm just going to take the tape off of this because we don't want to snag this at all. Right. Take a look at the cover and then we'll flip through this. And find Last No Awakens. I personally would have graded this as better than uh, uh, good, very good. I would grade this as very good, very good plus possibly uh, but we'll take a closer look at it okay. there's a little bit of uh, missing there and my fingers gang uh, the purple is uh, eating a lot of mulberries recently George Evans cover glad to add another ec book to my collection at the back any three any three of these complete new masterpieces of science fiction yours for only one dollar science fiction anthology omnibus of science fiction Boop. the caves of steel nice and we ended up paying uh 26 89 canadian for this okay which comes out to around 20 dollars us this thing costs and it's a really good price uh for for this book at this grade okay Proof of eight brands tested. Panic is best imitation of mad. Ha ha. <laughs> and Panic is uh, one of the titles that uh, EC Comics was putting out. Okay. Take a look. Let's read the fine print for this. Why not? I like reading the fine prints of these. So, Two Fisted Tales, December. Uh, 1954 it's 1954 1955 volume one uh number 40 published by monthly by fables publishing company incorporated at 225 lafayette street new york 12 new new york william m gaines right william gaines managing editor harvey kurtzman 
editor entered a second class matter at the post office at what a new must be new york new york new york subscription eight issues for one dollar in the u.s elsewhere dollar 25 entire contest copyright in 1954 by fables publishing company incorporated uh, printed in the usa unsolicited manuscripts will not be returned unless accompanied by stamped return envelope no similarities between any of the doop -doop characters names or persons appearing in this magazine uh, with any of those living or dead is intended and any such uh, similarity is purely coincidental right this is john severn that's signed right there right john severn dying pain oh okay. yeah this is i would grade this so much higher than uh, good very good to me this would be a uh, very good plus right so that's like a five page story the end right two fisted tales number 40 ec comics right flaming coffins what's this squalus dogfish yes. 7.30 a.m. U.S. Submarine Squalus, Lieutenant Oliver F. Nakin, commanding, put out from Portsmouth Navy Yard. Hmm. Check this out. Rescue Chamber. Fifty-five dog fights. Look at this. Just plain being sh destroyed. Right. What is that sack being thrown at him? The gang got through. Now we'll get some help. Whoop. Too late. Nice fight scene. Boo, 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 boo. That's a nice crash. Panel work. jump as we go in Ames it's soft muddy then get away fast now Ames jump oh he didn't jump look at that he got stuck oh crap Kablam. Ames I'm caught I'm caught He's going to burn up. Got to get all aims. Got to. Russell, Russell, she'll explode. Get you, get you out. Russell, you fool. Oh, he went to get him. Nice. 
He got him out. Oh, he saved him. Look at that. Look at that. He saved them. The artwork for this must be signed. Uh, George Evans. Oh, John, not George Evans. John Severn. No, no, George Evans. George Evans did the artwork for this. Beautiful artwork. Indeed, indeed. Three hundred and nineteen stamps. Yours for only twenty five cents. Man, this is the last of the Mohican story that we want to read. And this is artwork is Jack Davis. Look at this. Jack Davis. Nice. Nice. Gang, let's have a read through this. Okay. I was I was ecstatic to flip through this and find that it, uh, it had less than Mohicans in here, so I'm psyched for this. Okay, so this is the last of the Mohican story. Artwork is by Jack Davis. Okay, and the script I believe is by Jack Davis as well. Sagamores, Mohicans, and Delaware. So, I believe the. Um, the script is Jack Davis as well. And this is Two Fisted Tales number 40 from EC Comics from 1955. Okay, 1954, 1955. Okay, it's the second last issue, I believe, of Two Fisted Tales. So let's have a read through this. And this is based on the book that came out in 1780 something, I believe. And the movie is absolutely amazing with Daniel Day Lewis. Last of the Mohicans. Okay. Just beautiful. Right. Look at that. What beautiful artwork. The following pictures have been excerpted from a story by James Finmore Cooper that took place during the French and Indian Wars. They concern a white scout called Hawkeye, a, Mo a Mohawk, Mohawkan chief called Ching Chingachgook. Chingachgook, his son, let's hold on, let's set this up properly. His son, Uncas, and their personal feud with the Huron Indian tribe. These six pages attempt only to give a tantalizing glimpse into that great classic the last of the mohicans okay. where are the blossoms of those summers fallen one by one so all my family departed each in his turn to the land of spirits i am on the hilltop and must go down into the valley and when uncas follows in my footsteps there will no longer will be any of the blood of the sagamores for my boy is the last of the mohicans and sagamores is mohican and Delaware's 
And he's telling the story to Hawkeye, the chief. Thus spoke the words of Chingach Gok, tribal chief of the Remnani Mohicans. Thus listened Hawkeye, fearless scout and hunter, friend of the Sagamore. Thus answering, Onkas, son of Chinjatguk, bravest of warriors, enemies to the Mak Makwas. Onkas is here. Makwas, Huron. Do the Makwas dare to leave the print of their moccasins in these woods? I have been on their tra uh, trail and know that they number as many as the fingers of my two hands, but they lie hid like cowards, the son replies. The thieves are out lying for lying for scalps and plunder that bushy Frenchman Montcalm will send his spies into our very camp and he will know that road we travel this enough they shall be driven like deer from the bushes Hawkeye let us eat tonight and show the Makwas that we are men tomorrow, says the chieftain. I am ready to do one as the other. Talk of the devil and he will come. Here is a pair of the biggest antlers I have seen this season. Now, Uncas, I bet my uh, charger three times full of powder against the foot wampum that I take him at winks the eye Hawkeye says Hawkeye will you fight the Makwas Hawkeye replies I must leave the buck to your arrow Uncas or we will kill a deer for them thieves the Inquas Iroquois to eat Unquas Iroquois Huron that's what it's referring to oh look at that in another moment the thwang of the cord was heard a white streak was seen glancing into the bushes the buck plunged from cover Avoiding the horns of the infuriated animal, Uncas darted to his side and passed his knife across the throat of the bounding deer. Supper. It was done with Indian skill and it was a pretty sight to behold Hawkeye says though an arrow is a near shot and needs a knife to finish the work huh the chief's done saying be quiet Shh. by the Lord there is a drove of them if they come with in range of a bullet i will drop one though the whole six nations should be should be lurking within sound what do you hear ching chinga 
chingachukuk for for to my ears the woods are dumb hawkeye says and the chief says put his head on the ground see if you can hear them there is but there is but one deer and he is dead I hear the sound of feet the chieftain says perhaps the wolves have driven the buck to shelter and are following on his trail Hawkeye replies no the horses of white men are coming Hawkeye they are your brothers speak to them he says that will that will I and in English that the kings need be ashamed to answer ha there goes something now I hear yes God keep them from the Iroquois the Hurons who comes who comes hither among the beasts and dangers of the wilderness Hawkeye asks believe believers in religion and friends to the law of the king men who have journeyed since the rising sun in the shades of this forest without nourishment and are sadly tired of their wayfaring we are lost they reply there's a couple of ladies with them with an Indian guide lost in the woods when the sun is scorching the treetops and the water course are full when the moss on every be beach he sees will tell him in which quarter the North Star will shine at night the woods are full of deer paths which run to the streams well known to everybody what Indian is he Magua, a Hur Huron. This guy. Magua. Oh, and he darts. He's running like mad. Recognized by Hawkeye and his two companions, and sensing his plight failing, he plunged at a single bound into the thick thicket. The Huron had escaped to try trickery some other time. Though the small British party was saved from the Ma Maquas that day, they journeyed on to Fort William Henry only to find Montcalm's troops. Montcalm's troops had begun invading the place. Hawkeye, knowing the land so well, was able to lead the party through the French lines unseen. The overwhelming forces of Montcalm took the fort with an honorable surrender the Maquas, being cheated of their british scalps attacked the british and before the french could help the Maquas had taken captive the colonel's daughter With the skill of Hawkeye, one daughter was saved, and later the Delaware uh, cousin, the Delaware, the Delaware cousins to the Mohicans, brought tri brought tribal war of Maqua and the Hurons. After a vicious fight, the Hurons were put to flight in defeat.
Makwa raising a yell that spoke volumes of anger and disappointment darted away from the scene attended by his two only surviving friends Uncas, who had vainly sought him in the melee, bounded forward in, a pers in pursuit as if life to him possessed but a single object, Magua's, Magua's scalp. Hawkeye and the two British officers followed Uncas. Hawkeye holding his fire for Uncas desire for victory. The Hurons leaped into a thicket and entered into the mouth of a cave that led up the mountain. For a moment, the race was believed to be lost when a white robe was seen fluttering in the dark. This Cora, 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 this the maiden, courage lady, we come, we come, Hawkeye yells. The knaves will pick us off at this distance. The knives will pick us off at this distance. Knaves, no, knaves can pick us off at this distance. And see, they hold the maiden so as to shield themselves. At this moment, the forms of all four were strongly drawn against an opening in the sky, and they disappeared. They got the girl with them. The impetus young men were rewarded in encumbered with Korra the Hurons were losing ground in the race they're chasing us through the mountains stay dog of the wind dots a Delaware girl calls, stay. One dots, Horons again. Oh, look at that. I will go no further. Kill me if thou wilt. De detestable Hurons. I will go no further, she says. woman choose the wigman wigman or the knife or le subtle choose le subtle magus french title Mag magwas french title look at that Just then, a piercing cry was heard above them, and Uncas appeared, leaping from a f uh, fearful height. Makwa's aid she sheathed his own knife in the bosom of Cora. Oh, shite! 
killed a girl. Diverted by this interruption, Magma buried his weapon in the back of the Delaware. Uncas rose from the blow as a wounded panther and struck the murderer of Korra. Then, with a stern and steady look, he turned to Magua, his failing strength um, expended. The latter seized the un unresisting Delaware and passed his knife into his bosom many times. Keeping his gaze on of scorn, Uncas fell dead at his feet. Magua issued a cry of triumph and made a desperate leap. Falling short of his mark, though his hands grasped a shrub, all he had to do was pull up for escape. The long rifle of Hawkeye was raised, pouring out its contents, dealing death to the cunning Magua. Thus came the burial of Uncas. Why weep that a chief has filled his time with honor? He was good. He was dutiful he was brave Man Manitou had need of such warrior and had called him away I am now a blazed pine in a cle clearing of the pale faces my race has gone I am alone the chieftain says no Sagamore not alone the gifts of our colors may be different but the God placed us as to journey in the same path, Hawkeye replies. Then spoke Tamin Taminod, chief of the Delaware, to dis disperse the multitudes. It is enough. Go, children of the Leniap, Leniap, the Delaware tribe. The anger of the Manitou is not done. Why should Taminod stay? The pale faces are masters of the earth, and the time of the red man, red men, has not yet come again. My day has been too long. In the morning, I saw the sons of Unam Unames, happy and strong. And yet before the night has come, have I lived to see the last warrior of the ra of the wise race of the Mohicans. Very cool, very cool. And this ending, uh, if you've seen the movie, I'm not going to give any too many spoilers. It sort of plays out like this but different okay the last of the mohicans movie with uh, daniel day lewis is extremely powerful one of the one of the most brilliant scenes in movie history this part that they're describing here and it plays out a little different the same but a little different okay highly recommend watching it highly recommend watching it beautiful beautiful two-fisted tales number 40 let's flip through the rest of this just to 
yesterday or day before actually i had a look at this story too this looks amazing uh, but we'll save it for maybe another reading in our retirement right what's the story on this one the artist for this one is john severn okay this one's john severn and look at this just beautiful huh? what's the intro to this let me get a good handle on this let's see the intro the summer sun beats uneasily uneasingly down upon a confederate patrol on the eastern bank of a small river beats mercilessly upon the little bridge which spans the river beats upon the squad of men pinned down to that bank by the keen eyes and swift rifle of sharpshooter so there's a sniper there right and this is uh, just flipping through this a couple of days ago it goes back into the story I think of a childhood and it, it was just I didn't read it but I looked at the imagery and the panels and the panels tell a huge chunk of the story right the artwork beautiful right car burning oil engineers discovery stops it quick without a cent for mechanical repair save fifty dollars to 150 dollars in repair bills at that time that's a lot of dough what is this they're pulling in there let's see whoop like squeezing toothpaste out of a tube i wonder what that did to your car <laughs> send for my my free outfit and start a quick cash spare time shoe business become Al Bundy but this guy's selling men's shoes cool very happy to have gotten this very happy to have gotten this and um, yeah I would give this not good very good I would give this a very good plus fantastic and put the tape back on this nice awesome 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 All right 